God is blessing me with more money and power. When the Holy Spirit starts to move, to stir the heart of man, the enemy works overtime to win them if he can. He surely doesn't show himself as, a devil dressed in red. He's working undercover, deceiving them instead. Of course, that's what he does the best. He's known to be a liar. He leads his victims subtly into the lake of fire. He doesn't say, now follow me, we're on our way to hell. Depending on each victim, a different story he will tell. A powerful prayer from Sunland Apple IPTV Entertainment. Holy, holy, are you Lord God? Isaac has picked Esau, but God, God, whoo, God has picked Jacob. The reason I got happy there, see, I, I know what it's like to not be the one that everybody was expecting, and yet God has picked you when people have stepped over top of you looking for somebody else. But God is about to do the unexpected in your life. I want to talk to some people that's been picked over, stepped over, cast aside and looked over. Baby, this word is for you. The stone that the builders rejected. That's the one God always chooses. Surprise! Okay, I don't know if anybody's ever going to see this, but... I hope I reach somebody. <laughs> um, I am a bonus mom. And to a sweet little five-year-old girl... But I am a full-time bonus mom. And I've been really struggling the past few months trying to find my place. Um, I guess you could say. Or like making sure that I know my place. But also it's really hard because I am her main parent. But at the same time, I'm not her biological mom. And so I want to encourage that relationship. But I also am with her every single day. So it's, it's just all kind of been really hard um, to adjust to. But anyways, um, I've been having a really hard time lately. She's just had a lot of questions and um, a lot of kids ask her things at school now that it started and she doesn't like telling people things and I don't know, it's just, it's just been a long two years. Um, and she's been through a lot and I just kind of put my life on hold for her. Um, because she had been through a lot so I had been there every day with her and that's still how it is I'm still a very involved mom but um I've been struggling and she's been struggling and I've been struggling and we just I've just been trying to find something for myself and just be there for her and it's just been a lot um oh, I almost got emotional I took her to school today and I walked to the class as I do every single morning and she's been having a hard time at school with me leaving like very attached um, doesn't want me to leave tears whatever and her teacher came up to me today and she grabbed me on the shoulder and it had been a morning she was exhausted she didn't want to go to school it was just like a morning and she had grabbed me on my shoulder and she looked at me and she said you know you amaze me she was like, I just want you to know that you're a really good mom and you're doing really good for her. And it just, I, I lost it because it is so hard being a mom, but being a bonus mom, but the main mom is the hardest thing in the world. Um, just figuring it all out and jumping into it. And I just feel like there's not a lot of people that can come up to you and say those things to you. And so if you are a bonus mom and you are struggling because you are the main parent and you don't know what you're doing good, it's all a journey and it's all trying to figure it out as you go. So that's all. <laughs> I want to talk about something for a minute. Okay. Why is it that everyone, including my mother, okay, every single time I tell them I'm going to a wedding, I'm going on vacation. I'm joining a soccer team. I switch gyms. All of a sudden, they're like, maybe you'll meet someone there. 
You think I'm doing it to meet someone there? Of course I am, but I don't need you to bring it up. So you believe that your God is the creator of the entire universe and everything in it. You believe he's all-knowing, all-powerful, all-loving. And yet, someone like me, a good person who just doesn't believe in him, has the power to make him feel so hurt that he would send me to hell forever just because I don't believe in him? Why does he need my human approval to be kind and loving and accepting? He's up there like Meredith Grey. Pick me! Choose me! Love me! But at least Meredith doesn't freaking threaten Derek with like, you know, eternal torture if, she, if, he, if he doesn't choose her. I don't know. I spend a lot of my time calling out toxic Christians who use God's name to abuse and hurt others. So you think that God would approve of that. You'd think that he'd be on my side. But no, he's going to throw me in the fiery pits of hell and let all the pastors who are essaying their children and women in the church go right up to heaven and sit next to him on his throne. Come on. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Whatever God want me to go through, let's do it. I'm gonna do it chin up, chest out. If my head drop for a minute, don't mind me. I'm gonna pick that motherfucker up. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the times I've said forgive me and ran back to sin. God, I'm sorry for all the times I said I love you, but refused to pick up your word and get to know you. God, I'm sorry that I failed you more times than I can count, but I thank you that you chose me. Prophet Sheena here today. I just want to take 60 seconds to encourage somebody today to let them know, okay, that God has a plan outlined for your life. Let me tell you something. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 declares, for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, and that plan is to prosper you. I know that where you are right now may not seem like it will ever come to fruition, but can I remind you today that God has you in his hands you are the apple of god's eye he is very very much in love with you and god has not forgotten you every single promise every single prophecy every single vision that god has shown you every dream that he has revealed to you for what's coming in the future will come to pass wait mm -hmm. on the lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart wait I God bless you. God sent me as a messenger today to let you know that he is bringing you into something that is far bigger than you even asked for. God said, I'm about to do more than what you asked for. I'm about to exceed that need. I'm about to exceed and surpass your expectation. But I just need you to stick with me. I need you to stay with me. And I need you to continue to obey what I have told you to do. Because it is in you moving and doing what God has told you to do that he is going to move. I literally hear God saying, when you move, I move just like that. Amen. Ching, ching, ching goes the money tree. And every time a ching money comes to me, it all flows in so abundantly. 
from the top left right and up under me wave 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 i'm a money wave money flow money flow money made flowing in and out plus money saved debt 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 all debt is paid ching 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 goes a money tree everybody thinks that if i just do it right god will bless me well his blessing on us is his presence yep not necessarily the impact we make it's him and there are times when his presence on you speaks to that person or that crowd or that issue and all of a sudden you have this accelerated wow the money that you have right now wasn't yours in the first place mm -hmm. like Facts. God, like, so everything I have right now, God loves me all that. So why would I be mad if God tells give me to back. give yeah. back to someone else? People don't even want to get 10% back. 10% is nothing. God can do more with your 90 than you can do with your 100. Bro. Receive this. I decree and declare a flood of financial increase is hitting your house and will overtake you. I decree and declare a flood of wealth is hitting your house and will overtake you. I decree and declare a flood of positive financial surprises to hit your house and will overtake you. I decree and declare a flood of peace and joy will hit your house and overtake you. I decree and declare a flood of enlightenment is going to hit you and overtake your mind. I decree and declare a flood of blessings on blessings to hit your house and overtake you. I decree and declare a flood of witty inventions, ideas, insights to hit your house and overtake you and the world. I decree and declare that this positive flood of increase will not just impact you, but it will ripple over to the people around you. I decree and declare that all will continue to be well and getting better day by day. Everything I desire is already mine. Love you guys.